Hi everybody, Cynthia here from the Scrappy Bookworm. I'm doing a video response to I Art of Stones Ticket Strip Challenge. Alter Ticket Strip Challenge. Um, and if you guys would like to check her channel out and watch some of her videos or join in the challenge, I will post the link below so you can get all the details. Um, I have to say, I've never altered a ticket before. This is my first time doing it. And um, my husband had brought home, like, red, bright, bright red raffle tickets. Um, probably around Christmas time and said, oh, these might be fun to alter for Valentine's Day. And I thought they were so cute, but I put them away. I never altered them. And when I saw the challenge, I thought, oh, this is going to be, you know, this is time to break it out and, and give it a try. So instead of painting them with gesso and then, you know, painting different layers on them, I decided to break out my um, scrap stash and cover them with papers. And then I played around with inks and stuff like that. So anyway, this is the original one that I um, altered for the challenge itself. And then I had so much fun doing this one, I just kept making more. So I'm just going to show them all to you guys. And, um, okay, here we go. This is my very first strip that I altered. And um, what I did was I did, um, I kind of watered down dress gesso and I did like a whitewash on it just to cover up some of the paper in the background. And then I stamped it with this postage stamp right here. And this is from Stamp Pendus clear stamps and this the set is called charm collection and um, after that I just inked it up a little bit with distress inks and I used tattered rose peeled paint and tumbled glass and then I also used some black soot and this is how it came out try and get you a closer look um, I really love like the postcard stamps and you know just uh, postage stamps and stuff so that's why I chose to do this one first thought it might look cute in an art journal okay so that's my first one and then the second one that I did I messed up one of them <laughs> so uh, yeah we had to get rid of that one but this is the second set I did and what I did to this is I covered it with paper but you can kind of pick up the prints in the background. And I also gessoed this a little tiny bit just so that the So Lovely stamp would show. And the stamps that I used for this is actually called So Lovely. And it's from Lawn Fawn. And I got this from Jamie over at Scrap and Stampers. I got it from her not too shabby shop on Zibit. She um, I actually won this one in a challenge. Uh, during the month of February so thank you Jamie I finally got to use it and I love it love it I will actually post a link below to Jamie's store too in case you guys want to see if she still has these in her store um, oh let me show you the stamp I use this stamp here the um <sighs> I can't think today what these things are called you know the um Spool, spool of thread, spool of thread. I'm sure you're all going, it's a spool, Cindy. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I stamped this out and then I stamped the needle right here on two cardstock and then I cut them out and then I actually used this thread and wrapped it around the spool. I glossy accented the needle and the spool and then once they were dry, I cut the needle out and I just kind of wove it into the thread there and um, glued it on and then I used a button and used some of the thread to finish off the button there and then the So Lovely is actually from the Your So Lovely stamp up here so I just put tape over this one so it wouldn't interfere so I could just tape out So Lovely and that's how I messed up my one ticket I forgot to take the tape off <laughs> when I went to stamp it so but it, I think it came out kind of cute so that's my second set and then my third set I used um, like Scrabble not Scrabble um, what do you call that crossword puzzle paper 
and then I made little banners and wrote words of wisdom on the top and then I just have these little Tim Holtz clips here um, to make it kind of look like it was holding the banner on and then I just put some word tiles on that set so that's how that one turned out and this was the next one I did it says I found them I, I was trying to look for all of my little stamps you know and I found this one and I don't know what set it's from I've had it forever and it says bloom where you are planted so I actually use the um, this one the peeled paint distress ink to stamp it out and then I put together some recollections flowers I had in my stash and then I used a bead cap for the center and then in the center of that I used my beads in a bottle the copper metal and then I fussy cut all the butterflies out from pattern or from paper I had and then I added some stickles to those so that's how that set came out and then this was my last set I worked on it's key to my heart and I covered it with paper that had keys on it but you can't really see I kind of covered them all up <laughs> so that's kind of where I got the idea to just put keys on it and then the letters I used here are actually from two different Bow Bunny sticker sets um, that I used but I used the letters down in here I love Bow Bunny I think they're so pretty um, and then I used some metal keys and the hearts in the background I cut from the pattern paper I used on this one and then I just glued them on and glossy accented them not glossy accent um, glitter glued them up so they kinda had a little sparkle to them and just tied some uh, string here on the keys so that's how that set turned out and yeah I, I'm really um, I really really enjoyed altering these I I've never done it before so it was a lot of fun and I know I'm gonna go searching in my room to see <laughs> if I have any more tickets laying around that I could alter but I hope you guys like them if you have any questions let me know and like I said I will post the link below to iArtistan's channel check her out and thanks for watching guys take care